I chose to do music technology lab because we are really trying to reach what we call the other 80%. There's a lot of research out there that shows that um, you know, 20% of kids are involved in band and choir and 80% of kids are not involved in band and choir or orchestra. Um, that they love music but they don't have an outlet for music. And I was in choir when I was in middle school but I really didn't like it so I dropped out. And so we really thought a music technology class would help the other 80% find their love for music and be able to have a class where they can have that outlet and that venue. I the type of person that doesn't like to be in front of people performing or singing. The music technology class is like one of my favorite classes. I look forward to it because you're just there and like everybody's nice and like it's a friendly environment. So like nobody will judge you if you sing horrible <laughs> or anything. <laughs> and learn about music but not have to play an instrument necessarily and not have to sing. Um, they're using, they already know how to use computers, they can figure out software really quickly, so it's a great way for them to learn about music, learn about composition, learn about publishing and distributing, learning about all the other music careers that are out there besides performing or directing. I've had the love for music since I was born. Like, my mother said she has videos of me dancing and singing when I was little. Like, now I want to know like, how to use the technology, if I like, ever want to be a producer when I grow up. And like there's this university in Florida, it's called Full Sail, and it's like all music stuff. And that's like my one dream college. I look forward to this class. It's a self-driven class and I'm a self-driven person. So this class gives me a chance to be more creative and it, it gets me to be myself. Or how they can create their music on their own just as a hobby. I really enjoy doing anything I can with music and uh, music's been part of my life. And I really enjoy it. And I just, anything I can learn new with music, I try to do. Up on my projector every day I have our task list, so I just use a Google slide document and I have our task list for every day on there. So like today is up there, it says Thursday, December 7th, and it shows what they're supposed to be working on and that there's extra credit available in Google Classroom. So every day the kids can look up there for an additional place to see what they need to be working on. And then in my Google Classroom, I have a music technology class, and this is where the kids get all their information for what they would need. So, um, for example, here's lesson 5.4 that I just posted uh, today, this morning, and they can go in here, there's a video that they can watch for instructional purposes um, about what they're supposed to be doing, and there is a Google Doc that has step-by-step -step instructions and even screenshots of what they're supposed to be looking at and what they're supposed to be doing. And then there's also a rubric, and I make a copy of the rubric for every single student. And then when it's time for me to grade, I can just go in and I can highlight the points that they got and I can say how many points they've got. And uh, they can go back and they can see what I'm gonna be graded on and how they were graded after the fact if they have questions about that. So all of my kids get all of their information from this um, Google Classroom. And um, I just keep everything in Google Drive and it makes it really easy to upload it to Google Classroom. I have stuff sorted by units and in every unit I have that Google Doc and that rubric and any videos, tutorial videos that might be helpful. So I was at the Tantara conference in 2016 and I went to Ray Bitten's session and he was talking about using the audio box and I thought, hey, this is something that we could use because we had already been talking about a music tech lab and what that looked like. And so I just asked uh, Ray to give me some information and he said that Personas already had a whole line of curriculum and already had videos and already had everything you needed. Um, so he set us up with a bundle where we got the Studio One software and the Notion software and MIDI keyboards, microphones, headphones, the whole nine yards, and now we're able to utilize all of that equipment. Um, they also brought us uh, people to train us. We had in-class training for that so that we could know how to use all that information, all that technology, um, made sure we were set up and good to go. Yeah, we really like the Personas bundle because it all speaks to each other. The Studio One and Notion are, um, you can send files back and forth and um, all of the equipment automatically you plug it in and it just automatically works. There's not a whole lot of setup that it's involved so it's just really user friendly, easy to use. The kids catch on really really quick and typically if we do have a problem we can troubleshoot it really easily because there's a lot of resources on Personas' website for help. We even use our recording equipment to record voiceovers for marching band this year too. Um, we made our own voiceovers for our pre-show and during the show. 
other teachers outside of our class are utilizing our resources too. So we had the theater director come utilize our sound equipment to record a bunch of voiceovers that they were going to use during their plays. And um, another teacher approached me about doing a storytelling class. So they were going to have their kids come record um, podcasts or storytelling recordings and things like that. So we found a lot of additional resources besides just our music technology class.